Movie starts and we see Professor Joseph Heider, who is sitting in his Mercedes and is looking at a picture. In that picture, three dogs stand in such a way. That one is behind the other and the third is standing behind them. Then a truck comes and stops behind his car. And the truck driver goes towards the forest for the toilet. Professor Joseph takes out his dart gun and targets him. In the next scene, we see two girls, one of them is Jenny and the other is Lindsay. They both belong to the US but have come to Germany for an outing. They met a waiter in the club last night and he invited both of them into the party. And Lindsay was taking on the call about the party location. Both take a rented car and travel at night to the location of the party. The party's location was not known to them. And passing through the jungle, they lost their way and got stuck in the problem. Jenny takes a U-turn of the vehicle and their car's tire gets punctured. They try to call car repair service, but it is a forest, so there is no signal on their mobile. And they get stuck on a main road that has no population around it, except the side of the forest. Lindsay wanted to go outside and search for help, but Jenny insisted that it is not safe to leave the car. So they both decide to stay in the car. Then a car passed there and they tried to take help from him. An old man in this car sees that both are alone. And seeing them alone he tries to harass them verbally. They are scared too much and lock the car from inside. Then that car goes from there. Now Lindsay convinced Jenny to go out and look for some help. So they both come out and start looking for help. It is late at night and they both walk towards the forest. Then suddenly rain started heavily. They see a light coming from a house. Then they both walk towards this house. They both get very wet when they reach this house. They knock on the door and Professor Joseph comes out. As both were alone, the professor invited them in. There was a strange painting in the professor's house, and the whole painting is quite disturbing. The professor then asks them, are they tourists? And one of them says that, we are from New York and have come here to visit Germany. He then asks, are you, relatives? Jenny replies that we are not relatives, but we are friends. They tell him their problem and tell him to call an emergency car repairman. Then the professor gets up and goes to the kitchen to get some water. He makes a fake call to car repair service to build the trust with Jenny and Lindsay. Also he mixes a drug in the water and gives them to drink. Jenny drinks the water, but Lindsay drops the glass after drinking half. Seeing this, a professor shouts at them. Then he went to the kitchen to get her another glass. Both the girls started feeling weird about him. Instead of getting another glass, the professor prepares a drug injection. On the other hand, Jenny was in a faint condition because of drug effects. But Lindsay doesn't, and she tells the professor to call again, but he refuses. She tried to escape but she couldn't. Drugs started working on her as well. Because she has also drank half a glass of drugged water. She was not able to walk and the professor caught her with hairs. Then he injects the same injection into the neck of Lindsay, and she fainted immediately. In the upcoming days we can see Professor is having breakfast and destroys all their identities. In the next scene Jenny and Lindsay find themselves in the professor's lab. They realize that they are tied to the bed. In addition to these two, there is a man who is also tied to the bed, and he was the same truck driver caught by Professor. The professor enters the lab and notifies the man. He tells him, you don't match and it's time to kill you. Then he infuses a toxin into his arteries and dies on the spot. He then buried the body of the driver in his garden. Now the professor brings another man unconscious to home. He's from Japan, and he's sharing a bed with Jenny and Lindsay. They all came to senses and started screaming. Because they didn't know what the professor would do to them. He comes forward to clear their confusion and introduces himself as the Professor Joseph and he is a retired surgeon. He was a mad doctor. One of its weirdest professions was stitching living things. Not long ago, he did the surgery with three dogs behind each other. And that mad doctor was going to perform the same operation on Jenny, Lindsay and the Japanese. Because their skin tissue matches. He was also telling them about the operation details. He first pulls out their knee ligaments. And finish them completely so that they cannot stand. Then, he will connect subject B to the backside of subject A, and also subject C to the backside of subject B. He will take off the skin of their hip and put the skin of their jaw there. And connect the three as seen in the diagram. So, when the subject A eats of food, its waste material, will go into the mouth of subject B, and it also will go into the mouth of subject C. It is obvious, that this process is quite a cheaper and disgusting, and no normal person can do it. 
because this doctor is crazy and he likes to do dirty experiments. And it is his first experience with the human body? First of all, he injects a lethargic injection to the Japanese man, that puts him in an unconscious state. Jenny is screaming loudly and the professor tries to give the same injection to her as well. Meanwhile, Lindsay opens the rope with her teeth and runs away. She has drip needles in her hand which are pulled out forcefully while she escapes. She goes to a room and closes its door. But the professor arrives there and breaks the window of that room. Lindsay also runs away from there and falls into a pool. The professor comes there and tells Lindsay to come out now or otherwise she has to take the middle position. He also tells her that, it takes twice as much time to recover in the middle position. Then he covers the entire pool with a lid. But suddenly the electricity gets off. Taking darkness's benefit, Lindsay runs away. She goes to the professor's lab and opens the rope of her friend Jenny, who is unconscious due to the injection. She drags Jenny from there and brings her outside, but the professor also comes there. He hits her with the dart gun and now Lindsay becomes unconscious as well. Then he picks both of them and brings them to the lab. In the next scene we can see that he marks their body with the marker before the operations. He starts the operation and he brings out the subject's ligaments and teeth. Then he removes their hip and face skins and performs a long operation. Then a few days later the professor is shown while drinking. All three are still unconscious. Professor also hired people to fix the broken window. Professor is drinking and in front of him, this human centipede is placed on the floor. Their wounds are not yet healed properly. And the professor tries to force them to stand up together. They are connected in this way and at the forefront is the Japanese man. The middle is Lindsay and at the most end is Jenny. Professor feels proud that he did it for the first time in history. They are feeling pain but the professor starts taking their photograph by standing them forcibly. Then he shows them a mirror and they start constantly crying by watching their condition. He keeps them in the cage and behaves like animals. And this thing goes on and on for many days. He forces Japanese men to eat like dogs. Japanese man disobeys him so professor breaks his jaws. Then we see that the professor is treating them very badly and take them outside. Then the Japanese need to go to the toilet. And since they are connected so. His human waste goes into the mouth of Lindsay. Lindsay had to swallow it, it was a dirty process in viewing even in thinking as well. Professor checks their medical condition, which shows that Japanese is fine but Lindsay is constipation, because she is not digesting the human waste of this man. On the other hand, Jenny is not receiving any food or power source for her body. The professor thinks about replacing Jenny. Meanwhile, a sudden knock on the door appears and we see two police officers. He invites them in. The police come there to find Jenny and Lindsay. Offers tells him that they disappeared for many days, their car was at a distance from the professor's house. The Japanese man kept screaming for help but the room was soundproof. The professor tells them he is a doctor and he is so busy that he has no time to go out. He doesn't know anything about those girls. The professor asks them to drink and they say we will have coffee. He says he can only offer water and he goes to the kitchen. On it, the police officers suspect him. On the other hand, the professor was mixing drugs and water for them. When he comes back, the police officer tells him that you are a well-known surgeon and we don't want to disturb him. But people heard women screaming on your property and asked him to explain about it. Also he says that we have found your Mercedes from the truck whose drivers was missing for many days. Hearing it, he loses his mind and starts shouting on them. He asks them to drink the water and leave. But the police officer throws the glass. Seeing this, the professor apologizes for his bad behavior as he doesn't get to sleep properly. Making an excuse for the towel he goes to take the injection. From which he can make them faint. In the basement, he also tells Jenny that, he has found the replacement for you and you'll be free soon. After the professor goes, we can see the Japanese man trying to escape. When he came back, police officers asked him about the basement. On this, the professor said that it is just his laboratory and workspace. They wanted to look at it but the professor asked them to get a search warrant first. You can't blame me without any warrant and they move to take their warrant. The professor comes to his lab and he doesn't see his human centipede there. Because they hide. Suddenly, they stab a surgical knife on his foot and knee. Due to it, he falls down. Then the Japanese man cuts on the neck of the professor and its mask comes in his mouth. Then they try to go upstairs. Because they were weak and recently had been operated. So it was very difficult for them to climb stairs. 
Their stitching area was bleeding. They climb up the stairs and Lindsay directs the Japanese man to a room. The professor also wakes up and he was also injured badly. So he keeps dragging himself and goes behind them. He licks their blood from the stairs. The Japanese man starts breaking the glass of the room. He was about to break the window glass but the doctor arrives there. He stops there and starts crying in front of the professor. Then the Japanese man cut his neck with the glass and he died there. Meanwhile, those police officers also reach there. Professor locks the human centipede in the room and comes out near the pool. Police didn't see anyone so they decided to go inside. They start searching for the professor and one of them goes to his lab. It is not confirmed that the professor is the one who is behind everything. The police officer feels intoxicated. Because of the drug that he gave him in the water. Meanwhile he heard the gunshots in the house and he ran to come back to his colleague. He came up from the basement and found all three of them in the room. He was shocked seeing them as their condition was worse. The officer goes to the professor to hold him. He was sitting at a pool. His companion, a police officer, was also killed. Then he shoots the other police officer with the pistol of the police officer. In return, the police officer also shoots Professor Joseph. They both die and there wasn't anything left except for the centipede made by Dr. Joseph. The movie ends. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more such movies explanation. And hit the like button to support our work. See you next time.